What's up guys, I'm Pause Build, and in this video on the lead up to Planet Coaster 2's release, I'm going to be playing a demo preview of Planet Coaster 2 in sandbox mode. And the aim of this is to build a Poseidon theme park, because why not? It's a water park. He's like the main guy, isn't he? So I can't wait to show you the things they've added to this game that, in my opinion, already make it way cooler than Planet Coaster 1. And I love Planet Coaster 1. Thank you to Frontier for giving me access to this demo. And I hope this video helps you guys decide whether you'll be interested in this game when it releases. Okay, look at us in our water park. Look at the buses arrive. They have spawned here, which I love. They've kept the same theme as Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo, where you just appear out of nowhere in a beautiful place. And it looks like we're in the tiger biome, so let's build a path. The first thing to do in any park, let's build a path. This is going to be a straight path. Let's have it be 12 width. That seems what we've got here. Oh no, we've got 10. We'll carry on in 10. Is it? Or 8? can never guess the width of these paths. 8. It's 8. Okay, let's. we're going to go customize this though, because I don't want this. Do we want blue or... Let's get a jazzy mosaic path. I like this. Let's just have a nice, I like to have a nice straight path all the way down, like Main Street. And this we can replace with that as well. Look at that. There we go. First path done. Now this is a water park, so we've got to have a little bit of scenery first to start because you need an entrance that looks like something. I think we need to have like a Poseidon-y theme. So let's have a look at the mythology. I love these mythology pieces. This one has Poseidon himself, so we have to use this one, don't we? I don't even think we have a choice. Even if it bankrupts us, we're using this one. I'll tell you what, they come in through the gates and then there is a nice entrance way for them. If we can move them back, we will do that. But I don't see how. I'm not sure we can because they're the only ones we have, maybe. Um, so we'll leave them there. That's fine. So we enter, they walk through this massive Poseidon thing that's would have cost us all of our budget, but it doesn't matter because we're in sandbox. So we can get whatever we want. I have to get used to that. Now let's build a pool. They've got a bunch of pre-made pools actually already here, like flume pool. That is awesome. They've got medium pool, small pool, starter pool. Oh, that's good. It kind of gives you one and a wave pool. I think what we're going to do is create our own wave pool. So I'm going to build a new pool. Um, if you go on customize, you can choose the type of tiles at the bottom. Let's go for large marble tile pool because that's that's what we're going for isn't it with poseidon and we can have a white tiled edge and if we go on the, the shapes we're on the stamp builder right now we can do a square or we can do more interesting shapes like an octagon or something so let's do an octagon connect that up there and i think what we'll do is we'll build like this along kind of snapping it to our existing one Okay, that is not the neatest pool, but it is a pool, so we may have to make our peace with that. <laughs> I don't want to spend too long just building the pool. I want to show you what goes in it. So once we've built a little pool like this, we can uh, then decorate it up and make it our own and add some stuff to it. So I'm just going to put maybe one more here to try and fix that section. Uh, I could be here all day. You can also free draw these pools, which is really cool with like a draw tool here. So you can literally just go... Uh, circle here. I want a nice, or a square. If I if I do curve instead of instead of straight, you can have a nice circle like this, and even like that. And now that's a weird little pool you can make. <laughs> it's very cool. Uh, so we've got this pool here. This seems decent, although this jagged edge over here will probably hurt someone at some point. So if we uh, if we go to pool extras, we can add some stuff to this pool. And but first things first, we're going to need a ladder into the pool. So let's add a pool ladder over here. They can get in over here or they can actually maybe we don't want them getting in on the main path we're going to get into the pool over here or over here or maybe over there and over here we've got a few few entrances for that now every pool needs a diving board i think so let's have some diving boards on this side we're gonna have a few smaller ones and then we've got to have a high diving board don't we you, you have to have some diving boards like that for the for the daredevils um, my favorite thing as well <laughs> is they have wave machines. So let's just put the biggest wave machines we can over here. And I think because I've messed up the pool edge there, it's a bit funny. Um, let's let's maybe just check that uh, because that would be good if that were in line. Okay, that seems that seems a bit better. I'm not sure I've quite done it, but. It's fine, it's fine, it's good enough. I don't want to waste time on it. Let's add some wave machines in here. 
And if we're going to add wave machines, we're going to need a lifeguard because they are slightly dangerous, but that's fine. We're going to have a lifeguard and they've got this area of effect where they're basically making it safe. So I think if we have one like here, then we have another one over here and maybe a third one here. We've got enough lifeguards watching this pool that we should be good. Now let's put in some pool decorations too. We're going to have a couple of beach balls. We can have some, some rings scattered around a few different types. I think they've even got like a uh, inflatable mattress. Yeah, we'll put some of them in. Got to have some of those. And maybe some life rings with the lifeguards. We'll give them each a life ring in case they need it to uh, to throw to someone. Now they've got, oh, they've got a unicorn one. I can't miss that one. Unicorn rings and ice lolly rings. Beautiful. This is looking good. Now, this is basically a pool that will work, except we don't have anywhere for anyone to get changed. So let's go with our mythology theme. Yeah, there you go. It's telling us now there's no changing dis uh, no changing rooms. So let's put a nice build new because we're not going to use the... We will use the blueprints for the scenery, but the, the actual buildings themselves are in the build new tab. And then we're going to put a changing room over here. Let's put that on this side. So as they come in, if they want to get changed straight away, there's changing rooms here. Put a couple of changing rooms and maybe even a toilet. But I never do that, do I? Go on, I'll give them a toilet as well. I'll be generous in this. They can have a toilet too. Now, if we go to blueprints on services, where are you services? We can now add to these and make them look nice. Where have they got changing rooms here? Let's have a look at what we've got. We've got different uh, types here, like different themes. Very cool. Oh, I do like the fish. That might be the best one if we're going with a the Poseidon theme. Maybe let's go for the fish one. Um, so then we can just add to scenery group one. Oh, where are they? Where do they enter? That's a small one. Oh, okay. We want the medium. Medium mythology, lots of fish. Let's add this in. Money's no object anyway. So we want it facing this way. And they can enter there. In fact, we could set these back to the square behind. If we edit this group, we could probably move them back here. Gonna move them to the space behind. And now we need to make sure it's all connected up with paths so our guests can access them. There we go. Now they're connected, guests can get changed in this beautiful building and then go play in the pool. And look at them, they're in here. Uh, we do need to do a toilet as well, so let's just put that in. Uh, scenery, or that may be in facilities. We're on blueprints, so let's go to uh, toilets and see what we have. Got a size one toilet. That seems good. Poseidon's face on it, watching you go have a little wee wee. Um, if we edit the shell, we can move the toilet back as well. So guests don't have to see the uh, the blue tiles of the toilet until they're in. Now that, that's got the most of it out of the way. We do also need a staff building because we don't, we, we, we've got our lifeguards. They're going to need something to rest in when they're not working. If we build new, let's put uh, staff facilities. Let's put a medium staff room in here. And if we add the blueprints now, we go to staff facilities. Mythology star facilities, we want medium, don't we? Medium one. That's pretty cute. Uh, what's medium two? Oh, I like this more. We're going to add this one. Okay. That is there. Cool. This is missing power. So when you set up, we've got, we've got our facilities for our guests that they need. We've got our star facilities. However, the, the star facilities do need power. And this is where they've made one of my favorite changes to this game, I have to say. If we build new and go to utilities... They've changed the power system. So you have generators separated from where you use your power, which is ideal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some solar panels, why not? And we can put this wherever we want. Like we could literally put it over here somewhere. I'm gonna put the solar panel all the way over there, just to prove the point. And then we're gonna add the power distributor where we actually want the power. For now though, let's just put it over by the staff building because that those guest buildings don't actually need power. I'm going to put the start, the distributor here and then we just need to connect it to our power source. And now this is a power area. So if we wanted another distributor, we could connect it to the power source and have like a loads of solar panels over here is like one big generator area. And then the distributors to put them around the park rather than needing to have a solar panel by everything that needs power, which I just think is so cool. Such a good addition. I'm really glad they've done that. Um, I am going to continue our path as well along here. I'll maybe curve around, come down here somewhere. 
Now, this pool is all right. It's a wave pool. It's not too bad. I think we should have another pool, though. Now, we could use their flumes, but I am going to build my own pool again. I'm going to build new. I'm going to use the uh, draw tool this time and just draw a massive... Uh, oh, I need to zoom in to be able to see it. A massive pool over here. Oh, it's the max length. Okay, we can't do that. We can't do that. We can draw multiple circles, though, and have them join up. I just need to have them a little bit more moderated. Let's have a pool like that. Let's extend it out this way. It's going to be a weird shape, but it's fine because it's being used for flume, for for log, for body flumes and stuff. It's not it's not being used for normal purposes. You can even just smooth these out like that as well, or just draw. Let's have a nice curve. So we're going to make a very strange shape pool over here. And that's probably good. It's huge. Now this is going to be our log this is going to be our flume one. I keep saying log flume, but it's not flumes. Now I'm going to build my own flumes instead of using these. So let's go to they've got a m multiple different options here. I think I want to use the double inner tube flume for like the uh, the double raft ones. So I'm going to build a platform for it because you do need a platform first. And I'm thinking maybe we put the platform over here. And this, I'm going to raise up very high, because I want it to start up high. Let's have it be here. Now, we need to uh, put the actual flume in. So let's put the flume entrance. That is going to come this way from the, the platform we've built. And then I'm going to go and build the actual flume itself. So I can extend the length of the track. I can move it up and down and left and right. So I'm going to go down straight away on quite a steep incline. Let's tube this up for a full tube and start to build a bit of a pattern out of this. I want this to be one that, that spins round a little and it's going to be open. So let's put the high wall on that side so people don't fly out immediately when they, when they go on this. We're going to just full on angle round as much as we can with these. And if you look at specials, we've got a bunch of things we can put in like this, where they go up and then they go down the same way. We've got, I don't even know what this one is, oscillator left. What is that? Oh, that's where you, you end up sliding around. We've got a speed bowl. Wow, maybe we should put a speed bowl in. Uh, undulating, so it's like a raft. Maybe we put like an undulating one in there for a bit of bumpy, bumpy ride. That is so cool. There's another page as well. Oh, these are all enclosed. Oh, an oscillator's right and left. Wow, okay. So what we're going to do, let's let's place an undulating one here. Let's put a couple of them undulating and then we'll go for a normal flume. We're going to go extend the length of this. Let's go down a little bit, maybe over here, turn into the pool. We're going to go down like that and then we can put another special in. I want to put the speed bowl in. This is where it basically drops you in from a height as well. So let's do that. <laughs> going to be dropped in quite high up. Uh, we do want to go customize this because I don't want it to be this color. As soon as it's Poseidon, let's give it a nice dark blue and then maybe like a tealy color. Uh, ooh, we've got sea green as well. Teal blue. That's what I'm going for. We're going to go for teal blue and sapphire. Perfect. Okay. And the supports are going to be light blue. Now, now we've got this right up and running. Let's test it. So this is going to do a uh, little dummy slide that's going to go down. Let's start a test and we'll see it come out here. There they are, little dummies in there. Perfect. And it's basically going to assess what the ride is like. Is it too slow? Like, is it is it nause nauseating? Is it fun? Is it boring? Like, what's going on? It looks like that is way too boring. It's <laughs> stopped. Okay, what we need to do then is edit our track. We're going to stop the test, go back, edit the flume, and probably we need to just move this down a little bit to give it a bit of speed and move this one down as well. And just bring all of this down. So if I select all of this... Oh, that's to move all of it in that direction. But what I can do is grab this and it will grab as much slide as I want and then I can move it down. So it should be fine if we test the ride. Let's give that a go. And if we look on testing, we can see the results of where it's exciting, where it's not exciting, where it's scary, where it's not. We're going to go down and then go over the undulating bit. And then we're going to drift into the speed bowl. Oh, the speedball's too high. Okay, stop the test. This is not a good example of what to do. <laughs> I'm going to grab this section here and uh, lower it down. Like that. That's better. Okay, 
Now, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to place the entrance to this, and they're going to have to climb up this tower, and I think that's fine. <laughs> and now we place the entrance. We connect the entrance to a path. Let's put it over here, like that. And that should be everything we need. We just need to test the ride, and then people can ride it. So off they go. We can probably go on camera, and we can ride it as the test dummies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is terrifying. Oh, okay. Undulating is going to give everyone motion sickness. And then uh, in we go. Oh, you've stopped. No. Okay. This needs to drop down. I'm going to edit this one more time. And this section just needs to be lowered. And that should be all we need. Cool. You can also see that everyone has entered the pool on this side too. There's not that much to do. And we do have additional extras like uh, sunbeds. Um, so where are they? They're in pool decorations, I believe. Or pool accessories? Pool accessories. They've got sun loungers. So you can add a bunch of sun loungers, uh, which is very cool. And there's like a whole suntan mechanic that I'm interested to get into as well. Because you could like put shade in to stop them burning. It seems like my speed ring is a massive fail, if I'm honest. I'm not doing a good job, and I think that's probably because they get slowed down way too much on this slope. So let's grab this bit here, lower everything down, take out these sections, maybe make them something else. There we go. I just delete that section of undulating. And now it should work if we're testing. There's a little bit of undulating, and then boom, you go into it. Speed, 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 speed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, they do still have tracked rides and everything from the first game, but the main things I'm interested in are the uh, aquatic ones, to be honest. We, ooh, we maybe should put in a mythology broadside as well. This seems like a good one for us. Wow, we have to put this in our park somewhere. Let's add this in here. This is a tracked ride too. Um, let's put this in and then I'm going to fix the uh, the flume we've just built. Okay, place the entrance for this the same as you do everything else. Let's add this in over here. And then we'll place the exit maybe over here somewhere. Uh, where do we want to exit? Here. And then we just need to connect the entrance to the path. And connect the exit to a path. Oh, we need to connect to the, the... That's the exit. It needs to be connected to a path. The entrance needs to be connected to a queue. That makes a lot of sense. Now we can test this. This is going to be Poseidon's... Poseidon's boat. And we're going to test this. And we are going to connect it up. Oh no, we just need a normal path. It just wasn't working for us quite there. But that's fine. So we've got a queue connected here. We've got a whole ride here. This is amazing. See, I love this. And once we've tested this, we'll get a rating. And then we can open it for the public. Now, let's fix our little thing here. What I'm going to do is just completely take out this undulating bit that's ruined my uh, my my beautiful log flume. And hopefully this will work. And while we're doing that, we can also build another flume. So let's build a body flume over here. Now, we can use the same entrance over here, actually. And let's put in one of these vertical start ones, because these are very cool. We're going to have a vertical start over here. And then these go straight down. So we can edit that to come like this. Gonna go round and kind of build in a bit of a, a fast paced one. This is gonna be like really quick, I think. Okay, and people just fly out the end of it like that. Okay, that seems good to me. Let's test this one. I believe this one works now as well. This one. Oh, there we go. That one definitely works. Look at them fly out. I'm just not good with the raft ones, it seems. Down the bodies go. <laughs> going at pace. And we launch them into the pool. <laughs> okay, we're going to open that. That seems terrifying. What are the testing results? Uh, excitement 7, nausea 3, uh, nausea 3, and fear 3. Yeah, I mean, that's fair enough. That is pretty scary. Poseidon's uh, body... Scarefest. That's what we're going to call this. This one is going to be Poseid Poseidon's worst mistake. <laughs> this almost works. Why doesn't? Why won't you work? I'm just going to have to edit the speed thing at the end to get rid of it because I'm just not clearly capable of building this. I think you just need more. Uh, you need more 
track and speed to, to do it properly. So let's delete the speed ball at the end. And now if we go specials, what else have we got? Maybe we do that. Is that going to work? That'll work. Let's put that in. Oh, I think you might hit your head on that one. I'm going to delete this. There we go. Now we've got a little crossover. I think this is going to work. Okay, so we're testing it now. Let's try this. Poseidon's worst mistake will work. I will make this work. I love this as well. The log flumes, are, the log flumes, the flumes are so interesting. It's so much fun to build them, even though it is uh, painful when you're not very good at it. It's going way too slow. Right, I'm just going to take this whole thing out. I am too bad a builder at this. It's too, uh, too much of an ask for me. Let's make this just an end. We'll delete this and just make it an end piece. And they can go out that way. That seems good to me. Now, why don't we put in a flume that's actually well built, like their raft flume. Whoa, look at this. It's amazing. Let's add this over here to our pool, our wave pool. If we add this about here, I think that's pretty cool. And we can place the entrance there. That seems good. And then you can see what you can do when you uh, when you take the time and you've got, you, you know, you're, you're upgrading everything with construction pieces. Like, it, it looks amazing, some of the stuff you can build. And this is how you do a proper, <laughs> like, raft one. I would be way too scared to go on this in real life, but I do love it. Let's put this in. We'll open it. Beautiful. That works. Okay, connect the entrance to a path. We need to do that over here. Um, that can connect in like that. And I believe this can be open. Let's open this for business. This one, is everything working? Right, we can open this for business. So now people will also walk over here and start paying to go on, on this ride. I believe they pay an entrance fee though. I mean, at the minute, I believe it's free. So yeah, <laughs> ticket prices. We can do, yeah, ticket price bargain. We can set it. Let's just do bargain. That's fine. Priority pass, we can set a number. This is so cool. There's so much here to look at. Attraction prestige, scenery rating, unique attractions, park reputation. I'm going to exit to park management. Poseidon's pool, I think, probably should also have some scenery in the middle of it. Let's put one in this one. We're going to have some props. Now, they've got some awesome animatronics, as always. I think we should definitely have some singing eels. <laughs> Just on the side for a little performance of everyone. Or maybe in the middle. I'll tell you what. Let's put, let's put a nice big rock. Aquatic stump. Let's put a couple of rocks over here. And then we're going to have some animatronics. Um, they, these rocks are a little bit small. So we can use the new tools and we can edit this. You can scale these items up, which is amazing. So let's have it be like this big. And then put it in the pool. That will definitely be big enough. And now we can put some eels on top of it. And these guys are going to sing. How cool is that? Okay, we're going to put two of them there. We're going to have some of these over here as well. You guys need to sing, though. You can change how often they play, like once every three seconds. You can change that to one. Once every ten seconds. Or you can just have it loop. It's very cool. Or you can even set up triggers. And I'd really recommend you go look at their deep dive on that because it's a very cool feature. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to add in a very large statue, if I can. Where have you got statues and centerpieces? I'm going to put in modular centerpieces. I know that there is a massive Poseidon in here. So let's put a leg pose. In fact, let's scale this one up to 300%. He's going to put his feet here. And finally, let's put his head on. Where is it? Poseidon head. We're going to scale. Let's have this be 100% size. He's got a little bitty head. <laughs> Look at that. That's a nice Poseidon statue right there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful to mark this pool. Now, they do also have track rides. They've even got coasters. We've still got our coasters. They can build a new coaster if you want and put in... We've got a water coaster, we've got dive, flawless. I've also seen they've got drop tracks and switch tracks. So I am interested to see which ones are there. 
I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to try and build one of these. Let's go for a accelerator coaster. We're going to build in a new area because we don't want to build on top of our existing park. Let's build something down here. Let's build a coaster here. Hydraulic launch. Yeah, go on. We'll build that. We need to have these. Oh, these are the ones that go very fast, aren't they? Okay, we're going to really launch people. And then we're going to go for tracks. I'm going to raise this one up. And then basically you can choose a bunch of different types of tracks. So we've got like figure of eight helix we could do. This low is really cool. I am interested to see where like the drop tracks are and stuff. Top hat entry. I don't even know what that is. Overbanked right turn. And then you can turn into something else. You can have carry out this way. We'll drop them down. Then we'll throw in another type of track. You can also roll them, so you can roll the roller coaster a bit, which is very cool. And when you're getting close to the end of the ride as well, you can just have it curve around and then it will connect up to the track automatically. Like that. And you can maybe even, we could make these uh, brakes or something. See, I don't know whether this is going to work. Let, let's test this coaster out and see. Let's, let's ride it as well. Why not ride the coaster that we're testing? Okay, I didn't do this properly. <laughs> oh, I did, I did. It's going, it's going. Whoa, okay. And we didn't make it over. <laughs> Incredible. You can definitely play around with these. Um, obviously, you could then go about lowering this if you wanted to do that. Let's see if that will help us out at all. Um, I don't know if it's going to make it over still. We also need to add the entrance to the rise. Let's put an entrance and an exit. And then we can connect them up with paths and they'll be able to access them. There we go. They kind of made that. I don't know if they're going to make this turn though. They do have to drop, but still. What we're going to do is edit this coaster then. We're going to have, we're going to edit this coaster to change. We're going to need a bit more acceleration. So I'm going to delete this section here. Continue editing. Oh, I'm in edit mode actually. I'm going to continue extending along the hydraulic track. And uh, we've got a target speed of 78 miles an hour. So hopefully this is enough. We're going to make this go quite quickly and then we should be able to join it up. So if I go to edit mode, I want to edit this track here. Uh, delete these sections. Ooh. I want to basically join this up. So let's have this come down. It is going to be a bit steeper. I'm going to add a track that's going up, normal track. Goes up here. I'm just going to replace what we had before with something that might actually stand a chance of working. And if we go to edit mode now we can delete this old track that is very easy to use though so if we edit this we can now uh probably extend it there there we go now let's try our finished creation <laughs> let's go and test come on roller coaster you can do this i'm gonna start it again on test and uh, let's let's watch let's watch let's try and be part of this we've now got a lot more acceleration so hopefully this will uh be good <laughs> Over we go, it's much quicker. That's awesome. Okay, we've successfully done something. And uh, we're just making it round for the, the helix. That's worked. And I think we've just got our turning now. Yep, the ride's gonna turn. And then come settle back in for the end. This is a roller coaster that works. Incredible. And then we break there. <laughs> Some people don't throw up at the end. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, let's look at the testing results. Our safety on the swimming pool is low. We don't care about the guests. That's fine. Don't worry. Uh, we've got 7.4 set 4-1 for excitement. A lot of fear and a little bit of nausea. But I'm going to say that's good. Let's open this up. Oh, our checklist is incomplete. Of course, we need to put our entrances in. Let's put the entrance here. Uh, sorry, we connect the entrance to a path. We're going to want some paths that get there closer. And then we'll do a queue at the end. Let's have a... Uh, 10 meters. Let's have an 8 meter path come off here. And I'd rather it be in the same style. Let's add it over here. And then this can probably go down to here and over here. Perfect. Okay, let's connect this up with a path. So let's. We're going to need a queue, sorry, not a path. 
Let's see. Oh, we've got extras we can add. Oh, I love this. We've got all the different customization to the railings. This is what we like. <laughs> Let's add a queue up to here. And then we can add a normal path for the exit that will take all our guests away. Oh, we don't need to be eight meters though. Let's have this be four. Okay, now this is here. Let's open this up. This is ready for business. What are we going to call this one? Accelerated. This is going to be uh, Poseidon's uh, fast fish. That's what we're going with. Poseidon's fast fish. It's like fast food, but it's a roller coaster. What I realized we haven't done is we haven't had a ride on our main two, our big raft one over here, and this one. This one looks nauseating as anything. <laughs> Let's have a look. What's the even on testing? It's 2.88. That's already too much for me. Let's watch on camera. I love this feature. You can see Poseidon, what, grappling a snake? This is insane. <laughs> She's loving it though. She's, uh, you know, she's got that dissociative stare that says she's enjoying herself. This ride is now waiting for guests. So what I'm gonna do is close the ride and now start a test and we can join the test. <laughs> Here we go with our little dummy friends. Whoa. And then we're in the, I think this is like a fly trap catcher. Uh, it's called or something like that. It's very cool though. And out we go. I love that. Very, very cool. Let's open it back up for our guests to enjoy. Just an alert that many guests think that uh, Poseidon's fast fish is too nauseating, which I love. I'm also going to put power distributor in here and link this up to our uh, power network we've just built. So now this works. Oh, I've put that in the air, but you can see the potential for this is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to put it on the floor down there. But you only need one solar panel now for that. You don't have to build another solar panel over here, which would look terrible. Like, it's, it's so cool. To, you can hide this so easily with scenery. I love it. <laughs> I think we've built quite a lot in this park so far. I am loving the water additions that they've added. They are very cool. And obviously, our coaster over here, the, the sick machine that we've made, <laughs> is definitely a big draw to everyone in this park. But the main draw is the enormous statue of Poseidon with his teeny weeny little head. I've tried to show a variety of the mechanics and features in the game. And based on this demo, I am so excited for the full game's release. So I hope that you'll join me for that on this channel where we can build a proper park from the ground up. Thanks again to Frontier for letting me play this preview demo for you guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you in the next one.